Silver is one of the most precious metals on earth. It has a mirror-like appearance and its color is uh, very shiny. However, many people at first glance would say that this is not silver. However, it is. This is actually silver uh, that tarnishing has taken its toll on it. Many know of the term tarnish, but what does that really mean? Tarnishing is actually particles in the air coming into contact with uh, the silver uh, and those particles in the air um, contain a lots of sulfur and those are, come from fossil fuels and gases that are produced by power plants and even things around your home such as eggs. However, tarnishing is not that hard to get rid of. You can actually get totally rid of all your silver or tarnishing on the silver by using many household products as you find around uh, the kitchen, such as aluminum tin foil, baking soda, and boiling water. Using these three ingredients, uh, you can actually are coming up with a redox reaction for silver tarnish. Uh, redox meaning uh, reduction and oxidation reaction. One species in this reaction loses electrons and gets oxidized, and the other species gains electrons and gets reduced. Looking here at the balanced chemical equation, we can see that silver to sulfide um, plus the aluminum yields to make aluminum uh, aqueous because it's in boiling water plus uh, sulfur aqueous and then plus your silver uh, which is a sol or, yeah your silver which is a solid uh, so that's your balanced equation your half reactions for that balanced equation are your oxidation reaction uh, is you start with aluminum zero because uh, your element is not combined with anything up here so you um, it would be it would have no charge and then that yields to make aluminum plus three because that's the charge that aluminum starts with um, on your periodic table aqueous uh, plus three electrons which balances out three uh, plus negative three basically because it's an electron gives you zero and then for your reduction reaction you have negative four electrons plus uh, silver, which has a charge of two, and because you have two silver, that would actually make the whole charge negative four. So you bring that over here, uh, I mean positive four, excuse me, uh, because you have negative four, positive four, that gives you zero um, as your charge for silver, solid, uh, plus your sulfur that has been separated, which is the tarnishing. You can look more closely at the uh, aluminum pot of boiling water that we have here. And what we're going to do in this reaction is we're actually going to take the tarnished silver um, and we're going to carefully place this in the boiling water. Now that's not all. We have to add in uh, your baking soda, and this is approximately 175 milliliters of baking soda. So we're going to dump that all in there, and that is going to be, wow, a huge reaction of bubbles. And see the yellow flame? <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to place an aluminum kind of covering over that so it kind of traps in the whole reaction so um, we can get better results and we're going to let that sit there for a little while. The tarnished silver uh, saucer has been cooking in the pot for about 10 minutes now and I'm just going to take a look at some major changes have happened there is now a gel-like substance that is uh, kind of condensed on the sides of the pot. Looks like this. 
And what this is, is it's actually some of the tarnishing substance mixed uh, that kind of combined with the aluminum and the uh, baking soda. So that's, that's the tarnishing combined with the different ingredients that separated from the silver um, saucer. And I'm going to pull the saucer out of the pot and put it on the stove and you can if you come closer you can actually see where the tarnishing has actually separated in the get a better look at this when you the tarnish is actually separated from the silver and when When it's dumped out, the inside of the silver saucer is totally clean of all the tarnish that was there before. <clears throat> the smell right now is like a hundred rotten eggs. I mean, the sulfur is just everywhere in the air and on the sides. And so, um, in conclusion, uh, we've talked about the toll that tarnishing takes on silver and how you can use basic household products such as baking soda, uh, tin foil, and H2O itself, um, and putting them to use in a reduction and oxidation reaction uh, can really turn uh, metal such as silver from something that you would expect to see in a junkyard uh, to a beautiful metal that you could serve at a high-class dining table.